You're watching moments after Blue Ash police see a stolen car Sunday afternoon. Police say 21-year-old Adesha Parson is behind the wheel with two teenage passengers, speeding through a shopping plaza and hitting speeds so high, police wouldn't keep up. The car was probably going 80 to 100 miles an hour in a residential area. We're, we're just not going to drive that fast. Blue Ash Police Chief Scott Knoll knows how easily someone could have been hurt. You don't chase you that lot. These suspects aren't worried about anything but getting away, so it's, it's up to us to use good judgment because they're not. Okay. Here, the driver hits a police cruiser and keeps going, running a red light and eventually ditching the car in this neighborhood off Sycamore Road. There were some witnesses that were pointing and pointing us into the direction. This neighbor, who asked not to be identified, was one of them. They had, were starting to drive by, and I go, wait a minute, stop, and they stopped. I said, they went that away. She saw three people run behind her home. I guess they might have opened my gate, then ran in, and then jumped my fence and ran in that direction. I got three running from me right now in Sycamore. They were quickly stopped. Roll over, hands behind your back. Police believe they're part of a larger ring, mostly teens, who have stolen dozens of cars from Dayton to Cincinnati to northern Kentucky suburbs. That is one common theme is these people are getting into these unlocked vehicles and what they're doing is they're stepping on the brake and pushing the remote starts and if the car starts, they steal the car. The thefts so far have not involved violence, but the police chases have been scary. This one in October injured Boone County Lieutenant Chris Hall. Chief Knoll says he fears the next cop, driver or pedestrian, might not be as lucky. It's not a good feeling. Um, we have to balance, you know, the need to, to apprehend these people with public safety. If you're wondering, Parson is being held at the Hamilton County Justice Center tonight on $100,000 bond. And if you're wondering about those two teenagers who were in the car and ran, so far they're not facing any charges. Reporting live tonight, Jatara McGee, WLWT News 5.